In this workshop video, I'm going to discuss advanced buoyancy control and how you can best develop and test it. As divers, we have to be correctly weighted under the water. I want you to think about your buoyancy control being as good as this camera system underwater. And what I mean is you have the same amount of control just by putting the right amount of air into your BCD system. However, as divers, we can control that buoyancy even further by maximizing our lung volume control to stay statically buoyant. And we can do this in all orientations as you're watching now. Just pay attention. If you see bubbles coming out of my regulator, I'm breathing out. And anytime that's not happening, I'm breathing in. Make sure you notice my head position and where I'm looking. Plus I'm maintaining tension through my body and I cover exactly how to do that in my fin techniques training videos. So if you've not already, make sure you check that section out. One of the most common problems I see when people learn advanced buoyancy control and holding different orientations is they don't keep a fixed reference point and they don't continue to look forward with their chin up. In the example you're watching now, everything seems to be going well. I've got good buoyancy control, I'm looking where I should, but as soon as I change to look at the ground, which is what a lot of people do, I lose that reference. It's now harder to gauge when I'm breathing in and out and my position in the water. And of course, more than likely, you start to sink. If that happens, just regain reference point and breathe in until you're back neutral again. To develop this skill, set up a control line allowing for one meter above and below the line. Then get yourself neutrally buoyant and level with the line. You want to have just enough air in your BCD 